In this video, you are going to learn Visual Studio, another very amazing tip. Here you have a simple code. Now if you place debug point here and run this program in debug mode, here the program is halted at this debug point. If you hover mouse over this variable, it have value 5 currently. This nice tooltip give you facility that you can change the value of this variable for this debug session. Here if you go and change this value from 5 to 10, now the value is successfully changed for this variable. You can see this new value for radius in autos window. Now if you go to close your program, now after some time if you need what was that value for radius in the previous debug session, how to remember and recover such values. Now if you go and close your program. After some time, you need once again, what was that value for radius in the previous debug session, how to remember and recover such values. You cannot do it. The autos window has gone off. And if you go and reopen it, it will not show that number. Actually, there should be a feature in Visual Studio when you close debugging, when you end the debug session, you could know what the values were inside these variables at the time of debugging. A developer needs a way to remember values of these type of variables and he wishes to comment for more explanation and detail and also read these comments when the debugger is closed. Go to the number you want to remember later on, hover mouse, here you can see a nice tooltip. Here you can see a small pin, click on this pin, your value will be pinned to Visual Studio Code Editor window. And you can see it after when the debugger is closed, when the debugger, when the debugging session is over. You can also expand, expand this by clicking on this small arrow, you can also comment here. Now, if you go to close your debugger, you can see here what the number was and also you can read the comments. Look at this blue pin. When you move your mouse over this blue pin, you can see your pinned value in comments. Now, 
you can watch videos from your previous debug session.